just where my mind's stuck on grind, getting dizzy. If you down a ride by my side, then you with me. I ain't gotta lie, I got pride in my city, justified. Guess that's why I stay busy, work. Alright, oh, well, look, already got hey, you. Hey, it's a Beth. Good to see you again after 15 minutes of not talking. <laughs> Leave me alone, woman. No, I'm just See, look, it says right here, get notified when caught. See, look. See, you gotta, I think you turned it off. Because you might have turned off your notifications or something for it. Because I think that has to do with it. But regardless, guys, welcome to episode 54 of Comic Convos. I am one of your hosts. One of three now. Used to be just me for one week. And then it was me and Leo. And now it's me, Leo, and Izzy. And now it's me and Izzy because Leo had to go do something. Yeah. So welcome back, guys. And this week, we're going to be talking about... Uh, the Titans live adaption, which has been catching a lot of controversy this week. Uh, we're going to be talking about lots of the new TV and movie premiere stuff. And, of course, we're on the lead up to Infinity War, so we'll just discuss yeah. some stuff about that, that both in good. comics and uh, media. You know, it should be a very, very interesting show. Uh, right now, Izzy's sharing for us, and so he's going to be doing that for just a little bit. Oh man, I don't even think I get the notifications. We gotta figure that out. See, We're gonna figure uh, out. We used to figure. You. Someone, if anybody knows how to give notifications out when you go live, as the page. Either way, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, welcome back, guys. Uh, we're we're happy to have you here, and we can't wait to do more. Uh, hopefully next week we're going to be touching into more of our Patreon fun stuff, and also special thanks to our Patreon subscribers both past and present, uh, including Ty Lockridge. Uh, I forget, it's Kevin Antias at one time, but I think he's changed his last name again. We got uh, Cy Kennedy, we had Susie Marie, we still miss you, but we appreciate you, and we always give you that extra shout out for being a longtime supporter. Did you see that one? I don't know if you're like, no, man. <laughs> like, I like that we get comments from Facebook. That's, that's definitely... Uh... And Izzy announced me, oh. Izzy, because Leo had oh. a Oh, wow, we are behind, though. That's all right. Um, I might just be behind Maybe too. it's you. It could just be me. <laughs> Don't tell me how to live my life. Fine, I won't tell you how to live your life. Better. So what did you think of the pictures then? Honestly, about the Teen Titans. Alright. So, here's the thing. And I, it's my hope, my sincerest hope, that those are not the character pictures. Or, and here's something else, this could be, those. that could be a picture of Titans Incognito. Yeah, as they are wont to do from time to time that people forget that they do go undercover at least in the comic books from time to time using Raven's magic mm -hmm. um, well I didn't you know, look I, I didn't really I like Beast Boy's look I didn't really you know I don't care if he's not fully green like to me like that on screen I don't think is appealing I think I, I think know. you can do it though Maybe. we've seen you can do it but the thing is Piccolo. is it cost effective Piccolo. Right, but Gamora. <laughs> oh, okay, but see, yeah, they had it. I heard that they actually did her whole thing CGI. Mm -hmm. Exactly, so that's and that's not cost effective for a TV show, yeah. and that's what people forget. And so you have to take them where you can get them. I'm okay, and that's the thing. I'm okay, even with the same with the Raven. You know, if you're getting 100 percent accurate, Raven in the comic books is like Middle Eastern, or something, and so yeah, there's there's nothing there. You're never gonna get hit 100 percent accuracy. And the problem is now we're actually hitting the point where it's the Teen Titans generation that need to be appeased. The, the, the old 80s, people don't care anymore, you know what I mean? They've gone beyond that. They're, they're titans now in the comic books, not teen titans for the most part, you know what I mean? Besides Starfire and some other switches. And so the real thing is, like, our generation who grew up with the Teen Titans cartoon wants them to be like the cartoon. The show's coming back, they said. I know, I heard about the sixth season, which is good. I mean, I hate that they take ten years to, to finish anything. Yeah, yeah. it makes all me think of shows. all the shit. It makes me think of all the shit that, like, in the future, you know, you won't get there's, to see. Yeah, you know, there's like, a lot of things they need to finish up. Like, okay, we got Samurai Jack, they did that too, right? What was another show that they did that too? Oh, uh, there is a couple. Years. That's well, the thing. Oh, oh, the, hey Arnold. Hey Arnold, Arnold they got, got Recess Disney. just got another one. Remember, it got a recent one? Yeah, yeah it got a recent new movie. The the car and there is, when's that supposed to come out? Oh, uh, it came out. It came out. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. No, let me see. Here, look here, this here. up. I did not see no promotioning, no marketing. They were terrible nothing. about it. Recess, and it's not the original movie. So, so you have Recess, the original movie, which was like what 90s or 2000s, whatever that, that was. was out. Like yeah, 2000. But probably. this one was another one, I believe. See, that's the one. Yeah, that's okay. the that's the original. The original. Three schools out. 
You got to be like, nah, damn, I'm telling you. Damn, what is one? this one? That's the same one. There is so another one, I'm telling you. just put 2018. It wasn't 2018. Or 17. It's like 17 or something. Okay, 17. I just put 2017. I thought they did. I swear that it was either a Reese's movie or some other movie that was coming out that was just Reese's movies. Fuck it. See if there's more than one. Only way to tell. And it's not even gonna... I like how we're doing this. Any comments? No. no probably not. We're still working on our new time of four. Let's see. Nope. I guess it, is, it might just be... Oh. I just saw the Taking the fifth on. grade all grown up. That's 2003. Maybe that's the one thing. But I swear there was another one. I would have... Yeah, bro. I would have known if there was another one. Listen. But... <clears throat> so, yeah. There's recess. Well, we got a couple other things still coming back. We got Rocco with Modern Life. Yeah, that's... Doing the movie. Which has been ten... Pff, oh, so many years. <sighs> I'm reading the Six comic years. right now and it's fucking awesome. It's exactly like the show and it, yeah, it's great. Um, and then Invader Zim's coming back. We got that too, right? They're doing a movie also. Sorry, I'm looking at all no, their sorry. different ones. They have they actually have several movie comp releases, but they're all like in that same period and they're all basically just uh, compilations of the other episodes. Yes. Yeah. But ah, goodness, that's craziness. That we're getting all these 90s reboots from like 20 years ago now. There's that. And then I don't think I can't think I mean, of even honestly, else. you could say some of the other stuff like the 80s and 90s. Oh, that's, that's something. Oh, yeah. Powerpuff Girls did come oh, back. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. And that's, yeah, that's pretty long. Uh, Anybody else remember any crazy reboots? Mm, I can't think of anything. Right I mean, now. we're getting reboots now, but they're not like necessarily always that long ago wait what was it that i saw that they were just doing something new of now, there's there's all kinds of stuff but i can't think of it off the top of my head unfortunately oh dang groups still trying to get these shared to all of the different groups well look they put emotes in there now i'm just saying that yeah i know right isn't that crazy i'm gonna just put i'm gonna put these in there little eyes <laughs> <laughs> um well so okay you think that that's what's gonna happen with the teen titans then is that that's just i gonna... want that to be but honestly the way i see it it's gonna be the same as the inhumans yeah. they didn't have the money to put into the <clears throat> costumes the way they wanted they didn't have the production time and development behind them and so they're gonna half-ass it and like basically ruin these characters for live adaption and not forever but it's it's one of those things like with, um, what was I going to say? Oh, you know what I was just thinking about Teen Titans now that you just mentioned that they finished recording for uh, Young Injustice. Really? Oh, Young Justice, oh, Young Justice 3, Young Justice, yeah. Yeah, they just finished recording, they said. That's crazy. Because, oh, it's not that crazy, though. So, it's happening. <laughs> now I mean, just... I've, we've been, we knew it was. I mean, it got the funding and it got the money it needed and it has support. It's always had support. Yeah, but I just understand things like that. Like, how do they lose track on something like, like you know, just dropping? Like, yeah, I think it's because, it and here's the thing, Even they like, they mark that... it, and someone explained this to me at some point. Uh, basically, they market kid shows based off of Kids. merchandising. Oh, well, on toys and stuff. Exactly, yeah, that's but exactly. Young Justice no. is not necessarily a show that appeals to the toy buying community yeah, age. It's, it's more it's, about money. Which sucks. I mean, I, I understand that because but, but coming back on Netflix lets them not have to take that that's route. That's what I like about Netflix. Yeah. Is that Netflix is like, we're not about... No, well, and they're about just continuous, you know what I mean, kind of streaming media. And also, what? the more stuff they get in their servers, yeah. the happier they are. Mm -hmm. Uh, as far as original content and that stuff, I guarantee will be... They spend so much money on original content right now. So much. But they make so much money. Yeah, I'm curious. Uh, like... They're probably making their profit back now. And then uh, We have Amazon, supposedly, is really going ahead with that uh, Lord of the Rings TV show. Which I can't believe they're pouring the money, because that's they're got gonna, yeah, to it's be... Yeah, it's going to be one of their biggest shows, huh? That, that has gonna got be... to be such a huge huge expense right like well if you're gonna do it you can't just do cgi all background you're gonna no they're gonna, gonna go they're gonna, they'll, they're gonna build these sets and keep them so they can do more stuff and do but... you think they're gonna fly around to do more of the other scenes 
Like, like they the did ring? The, like they did in the other one? I just don't think they can do it. Like, how do you get the budget for that? Like, don't get me wrong. Amazon's got money. But how do you justify the making of that for the money? Like, the Lord of the Rings made, you know, at the time, record boss offices and et cetera, et cetera. But... The Hobbit. <laughs> it was all right, but it, it was just right, wasn't. But yeah, no, it's because... It they, was also because they split one book into three that's, they're movies. Saying that that's what happens when you run out of... Uh, content too yeah they also changed a bunch of stuff so that's not my next question it's like what are you gonna do in the tv show that you haven't already done in the movies that they've already done oh there's so much is there still a lot more material to go the, the the lord of the rings universe is possibly one of the best defined and like fleshed out universes well how many fiction. books is there oh there's only like two or three but the problem is the one that he wrote uh they God just came damn. out with another one well, they had like they find stuff because that's the thing they yeah, come out with his like, brother yeah not his brother his son was the one that kind of composed it all together yeah like, through his notes yeah, so but like the one uh... Tyler said he's taking a break I, from I work and saw your life oh so he is hey. getting, so he's getting oh maybe he's seen it in his own case I think yeah he might have okay, or like well actual... maybe he knows though the Simmer the Sim Simmerillion Sil Silmarillion pronounced Silmarillion, yeah. It's the co- it's a collection of mytho poetic works by Tolkien, uh, published by his son in seventy seven with assistance. Uh, it's an extensive though incomplete narrative that describes the universe of Ea in which are found the lands of Valinor, Beleriand, Numenor, and Middle Earth, which it within which the Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings take place. And so all of our story only takes place in one fourth of the total description of the universe. The whole Lord of the Rings mythology, even mostly, uh, take, doesn't even explore like most of that. Yeah, five parts. The first tells of the creation of the universe. The second gives a description of the supernatural powers, and the next forms a bulk of like the chronicles of the history before and during the first age. And then it hit, you know. It just keeps going and going. It's, it's got a pretty... I don't even know how long this book is, though. It's the Simul, Silmarillion. God, I had... I, someone's told me about this before. Is... Yeah, like, it's only about 365 pages. But it is composed of poems. <laughs> poems. Then, I mean, it is. The, there's actually, if you've read the books, there's a ton of poems in, in the, the Lord book? of the Rings. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's actually pretty common for that in several. There's several other series actually that they did a uh, Dragon Lance series did it. Tons of poetry and songs. It's just part of the lore and part of that part of history was songwriting and lore and you know all that good shit. Um, having said that, I think like I said that they they're gonna have like I don't know what story they're gonna pick. That's there's said, tons like, and you... tons of them, and there's like. Huge amounts so of like almost unfleshed like, details. It's almost like you know King Arthur's Round the Table kind of book, where there's just a lot of stories within that kind of book. Exactly, and so like picking one, and I think that's the thing that frustrates me the most is you can pick almost any story and make it good, depending on what you've done before. Obviously, uh, the problem being you have to like adapt and like write it in well. There, that's that's where writing in context and adaptation comes through. And the other problem that pisses me off is live action. All they have to do is physically adapt a book that's both basically what most people want is literally a representation of the book with very few differences mm-hmm. some people want something new but most people just want that they want to see that come to life and you have to bring that to life in a way if there was a movie on it, it's not canon <laughs> <laughs> i know according to the internet at least the, the internet people yeah movies are bust books and comics don't matter Oh man, that's that's that craziness. Um, so other than that, then what else did we say was coming out? Then I feel like I had one more thing I wanted to say. But I felt like it was coming out. Then. Well, I know you have Avengers, right? But there's weeks, something but else. Still, there's a couple other things here. Um, you were talking about that you had seen Rampage earlier. Yeah, I seen that, and it was good. I, I figured they'd do an all right there, job. There was it. a few things that were like a little, little Easter eggs or like, oh, okay, that's from, like kind of like from the, the game. game. Okay, like they like they had one where they ate. A My person. thing is, I just I, I find it ridiculous that someone saw that and they're like, you know what, rampage, 
Well, they've been trying to make this movie happen for like several years. I know, but I just that's my thing. Is like, all right, we saw the game Rampage and we thought story. And even uh, the Rock was all like game for for a long time too. When I was looking at the um, credits, he was even an executive producer on it. Wow, that's crazy. So Although like, he does that a lot more now, and a lot of those stuff he does. I'd yeah. Say. So I mean, he's he's been in a lot of movies now. That's for sure. He's, oh yeah. Well, now he has Morgan, money. Is Morgan the... Freeman and Samuel L. Jackson. Pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, there's always, like, they're just actors that get popular in certain parts of the yeah. generation. Like, Tom Cruise, 10 years ago, couldn't find a movie without him. Or, yeah, like, 15 years ago in the 2000s. I don't like Tom Cruise. Yeah, I was never a fan. But, hey, that's, you know, it's Tom Cruise, man. He's, he's popular, so there you go. You know, what are we going to do about it? <laughs> it's like, that's kind of how I get to the point on it. I'm like, well, yeah, you know. How come I can't, I can't share this to groups right now? It's really pissing oh, really? me off. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I keep trying, and then it won't pull up any of my groups. Weird. Yeah. Oh, um, you like when you type the name of the groups? Yeah. It oh, is. it it's busted somehow. They fight. I don't know what happened, but uh-huh. you got to push the at symbol now. And then type the group name. That's how I've been tagging you guys lately. That's so well, let's try it now. If you do at symbol, and then right next to it, then type their names. That's i know but it's it, yeah. at least it still works because for you. me like is it ta- like when you tag me and stuff does it like do you just type my name in the well yeah out? for you but like the for groups it's not usually that's weird because yeah, see for me i can't tag you guys like that i actually have to put the ad symbol now and oh tag. no i mean i have i've always had to put at in someone's name but well sometimes it would pull up names if i type their name back in the yeah, day but too, like but, see, now but now it's like i said it's even different because it's like oh well before now i can share all right this is broken, the new system they gave for sharing your groups. I'm very happy with it. Oh, it's working now? Yeah. Well, like you said, once I did at, I didn't even put any names. I just put at. Oh, and you just did it. like, pull the <laughs> list <laughs> up. <laughs> yes. It's stupid, bro. <laughs> All right. Well, let's, uh, let's get some of these DC ones, though. Okay, so DC. All right. All right. Um, having said that, I, it just reminds me of a meme. Like my big focus being Titans right now because it's all anyone talks about right now is like it's all over. And like I said, and I want to sh- like... I want to find that meme. If anyone can find it, where it's it's got the picture of her, and then it's got the picture of Starfire, and then it's got the picture of Anna Diop as Starfire, but done one. by a fan. I've seen that one too. Yeah, but, and it's know. and it's at least like you know might not be hundred percent professional, but it looks more accurate, and I feel like better. And I feel like that's really important to people is physical. Aesthetics. But that has to kind of be because you know you like when like you, you said, watch these stuff you know like that's what you grew up to watching. Them yeah, and because that's what you're as. expecting. And then when you see him on screen, you're like finally on the big screen. You're like, what the hell is this? This is not my person. This is not the. No, the this is not man. who I remember. And I like you can overcome that. I feel like with acting and some yeah. other things, but it has to be a line. There has to be some resemblance. There has to be some kind of, you know what I mean, like, physical, like, you know, they did the green hair on Beast Boy, that's the only way I even knew it was him. Yeah, that's the only way I knew, too. See, and, that, you know, and that shouldn't be the only thing. I should defin- definitively be able to recognize the character in any situation that makes it iconic, that makes it, uh, unless it's not supposed to be recognizable, but this is not the case with these. These are Teen Titans, and they're, like, the original group of teenage superheroes. Mm-hmm. Literally. Uh, no cyborg. You think they're not gonna have him then, huh? Is it just? I, I think it's just titles. Yeah, I don't think they're I gonna have him. The poor, huh? Well, to be fair, I don't even think he's technically part of the original Teen Titans. Yeah, that's right. The he comics, wasn't, right? he's not. Yeah, I don't think he is. He's part of the Justice League. So we're just gonna get the four characters, and it's just. Uh, mm, I Dick think we'll Grayson. end up getting more people. We have Dick Grayson, Starfire, Raven. Uh, Garf, Boy. yeah, and then we'll probably end up getting either. They show Wally, we'll either get like Wally West or somebody, okay, or some other kid Flash or some Flash. But if not West, then we get Speedy. All right, I'd be cool with that. And there's there's a pretty there's a decent bevy of Titans characters pulled from, but those are the two I would guess. Maybe Aqualad. Cause I got to do one more character. Four. Four is just not what I see in the team. They need five. Yeah. Five is at so least. So wait, is this a unless movie you're or is this a? Four. It's a series. But that's the point. Oh, it is going to yeah, be a series. Yeah, it's a series. series. It's, not a, it's not a one-shot, so it's like, it is going to be a series. That's the other thing being, like I said, we have no idea what situation we see them in here. You know, this could be some randomness. This could be really this. It could be really that. It could be really nothing. It really could be nothing. Okay. Well, we'll see how that TV show comes out. Because, you know, 
we know how when TV shows. My thing is, I feel mm-hmm. like, and here's my fear. That's this. It's not what I think, but it's it's my fear. We're going to get the same thing we got with Inhumans. <laughs> And and, and like and, and everyone hates it. He was like, I didn't even finish I'm it. telling you, it like the finish makes it so much better. Like I liked it a lot better by the end of it as opposed to like the first half of it. Because the first half, the first episode is basically spent breaking down the entire team, right? That's the four, or the first two episodes. Yeah. It's like all right, kill Triton, and then we're gonna fucking send whoever to the Earth, and we're gonna cut off Medusa's hair, which was a bad. That was a real bad choice from the very get go. But once again. Money, yeah. Well, how much money would have cost to a- uh, to accurately uh, depict Medusa's hair throughout eight episodes? Also, plot. Who could fight? You know, she. You know, there's not very much that you can. You know, she beats the shit out of a lot of people. Yeah. As far as like powers, unless you weaken her. This same with Black Bolt. All right, Black Bolt can level his entire civilization by himself. So. You know that's why they didn't show his power her to the, like the very end. And I, yeah, yeah, it's like the last episode, and, <laughs> and even then, it's a decent show. You know what I mean? But it, it, like you said, you should not have to wait that long for powers. Uh, a lot mm. of people weren't necessarily happy with Karnak, although I thought Karnak was beautifully done. I felt like he was the most accurate character. I didn't like that he could like had those. The lines made it look. Like his power is something else. Yeah, and it like fucked had... with me. And then they did the time thing when what I would have liked is like circles like all right he sees a person in like circle 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 hit him here hit him here hit him here you know what that i mean would have made more sense. you know what i mean it's like all right pinpoint a weakness or even like, like pops even out that. like like all right you know because i like a stat like he sees like all right stat uh old elbow injury uh, uh leans leans too far right on this side because that's supposed to be his power is to see the weakness in all things except mm-hmm. for it's not even a power for him no, because yeah, he just that's just how he is, right? He, so the old, the, it, the either would the do the C, yeah, like process. he never does the Terrigen process, right? And so either the thing would be to do the circle thing, in my opinion, or just have him like do it in his head, like thinking out loud. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, that'd be another one. It's just like thinking in his it's head. Like, and, like, it's like it's like all right, left, you know, weak knee, pop dislocated, uh, left, because that's kind of what he does in the comic books. Is he's kind of like all right. Uh, Weakness, sound, claps his, ear, his hands over their ears or something, you know, he does all kinds of stuff. And Karnak's got a very wide range of powers being shown as little as being defeated by, like, low-level street fight heroes to high as beating some cosmic-powered characters hand-to-hand. So he's definitely got, like, that wide range I of... I went bad in the comics. Went yeah. bad? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't read that. You I don't know, read, I've uh, got to get more into You've got to read yeah. uh, Secret Warriors, read that one. I gotta read that. That's he might the, have done something. That's the there, one yeah. where he sounds. He did something shitty at the end of it. I haven't finished. I haven't even started. I haven't done Secret. Right. I did like two. I have all the I did books two, and I it. two chapters. I think of Secret Warriors. No, actually, I lied. Because wasn't three. Secret Warriors the one where they were doing like a bunch of different stories? They had all the Inhumans in this one, basically. I like uh, Marvel. Because I swear that was what they were doing in one of those. Yeah, Miss Marvel, and they had uh, Devil Dinosaur and Moon Girl with this one, and then they had Karnak in here. And it was just a bunch of Inhumans, basically, together. They even had a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. I forgot who the S.H.I.E.L.D. agent was. No, it was like a... Yeah, it wasn't like a like you know a couple stories within one. It was a full... All right, then it must have been another one I'm thinking of. I think it was like... Yeah, you have to read that run because he uh, he, does, he does something at the end of it, and I haven't, I haven't finished it. I have to do a lot. I haven't read a lot of the recent Inhuman stuff since they went... And well, they're kind of getting. Looks like they're kind of just slowing down on them now because. Oh, well, because the TV series didn't pan that, out well, and then uh, they got their X Men back. So it looks like they're kind of just going back <laughs> to X Men. They're more popular. It's less work. They also did the whole X versus I thing, where at the end of it they kind of screwed them them over anyway. Yeah. So they're and well, if you read the most yeah, they got the runs, primogen or whatever. Did you read that? Did I read some of it. Like I've got, yeah, I haven't read have all read of it. That one, the Royals. You have to read. Yeah. Read Royals, and then you have to. Read read after that one and humans ju- uh, judgment day yeah because they so, have a lot going on yeah so basically it's kind of saying that they're they're done with which is fine i mean they the were never being. they were never super until recently they had never been really super popular or big anyway kamala khan honestly brought them way more popularity than they ever had before yeah. that 
Black Bolt's always been strong, but the Inhumans themselves not that or been pow- popular. Yeah, like I do like else. some Inhumans. Like I like Black Bolt. Karnak was a new character that I liked. Right, um, Karnak's been Lockjaw. good. I liked Lockjaw. And then, right, but the Inhumans, it's not. You don't yeah. see them as a team. You know yeah. what I mean? You yeah, see I them see as a mean. people, so, and yeah, they have like family problems. It's kind of like the Fantastic Four, but not as teamy. Yeah, I see what you mean with that one. Yeah, I don't know. I just never felt that way with them. Like they were always there. But I never felt like they were the top rung. Like, they were never, like, on top of the Marvel. So you feel like now they should, Marvel should just kind of, eh, leave uh, I'd like the them silo, to, I, I feel like, like, they should keep them incorporated, but they need to get them some good stories, first of all. That, like, they're so disconnected from humanity that it makes it really hard to make them endearing. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's really hard to relate to their problems. It's really hard for them to deal with our social issues because they their society their, they deal with their own problems exactly in that we would never exactly <laughs> and so it's like a thought experiment it's really cool but they're not endearing it's not spider-man it's not superman superman's endearing because even though he's an alien he embodies the american way and, mm. and humanity is to the best he can but as far as like you know like you said the inhumans how do i relate to somebody who grew up a king in a secret society closed off from somebody, the world. Yeah, even somebody who was, yeah, like a in a bubble. And his, his dad was... Yeah, you're reading that, that Black uh, Bolt run. You know, yeah, that's fucking about crazy. more about his dad and stuff. Yeah, that's exactly. Crazy. Like It's like he had to live in a fucking circle because he killed his... Or, and then he ends up killing his parents because of his brother. And then... <laughs> So it was kind of like, like eh, fucked up situation. Bro. Yeah, and it was just, like I said, just really unrelated. It was like, ah, you know, and then on top of that being so powerful, you know, it's one of those things having, on top of being the king, on top of being a gen, and then they went to the moon, which didn't help us get closer to them at all, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, let's get closer to them and send them to the moon. So, yeah, yeah humans And then they made them kind of villains, kind of heroes with the whole Terrigen Mist thing, but at least that oh, gave yeah. them relations, because now they were incorporating humans and in new in humans such as Quake and you know uh, yeah. Pyro and all these other people who did have somewhat a relational situation and brought because that they were into, bar- right. So maybe that's why yeah. they were. I really think that has a lot to do with why characters are endeared and loved. Is like, can you relate to a character or not really? You know, there's a very like specific lines on why we like characters. Like, why is the Joker so good? Because he's a villain. And he's totally unrelatable. Mm. Like, you don't relate to the Joker. Not really, unless you're just having the craziness, thoughtless. You know what I mean? Like. And when you do, that's what you want to relate to, right? You know, so at least on either end. But it's not like the halfway, like, you know, the king things. Like, I'm sure some king somewhere in the world might relate to that. Like, some Arab king or king of a small nation. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, yeah, I grew up totally isolated from basically the outside world. And, you know, the plots and the court kind of shit. All right. Well, I'll have to that. But the superpowers then, like I said, it's just an extra level yeah. of, like... I still have to finish that uh, series. Did There's you, so much. Yeah. Did you finish the Black Bro uh, run? It's still running. It's uh, just finished. Did it just finish? Yeah, no, I haven't finished it. Then 12. I saw it. So the, the most recent issue come out. 12. I'm either one or two behind. The last one I remember was like the what's his fuck coming back and stealing Jailer. Yeah, which I thought was like, all right, well, this guy's t- way too undefined as a villain. First of all, it makes him really hard to like. I that's the only thing I say bad about the series is like, yeah. I didn't care about the. Jaylen, I, my, I just felt art, like I don't understand that this with the art. Right, I don't know what he does, and I don't really get it. I I understand like he's psionically powered by pain or whatever, yeah. and death, yeah. and then but he has power to resurrect people, which is not like a light power in the Marvel universe. Like they they're pretty, like some people can, but they're pretty lax on like oh bringing people directly back from the dead just cause yeah, like they'll bring you back with a sorcery spell or some magic incantation or some extra powerful gem or some shit, but. They're not gonna really uh, just pull you, pull you back for no reason. Like, it's like, ah, did geez. you finish the Thanos run neat too? Yes, I did finish that. I just finished so. it. Oh, God. Here. Did you read the last uh, message from Donnie on the last page? I did, and actually, I have to go back. You, and you read should it. read it. That's actually was my favorite part of reading, and I never read the extra credit. I sometimes do. I'll skim through I, it. I do if once it's... in a while, but this one was good. And, like, basically. I mean, I'll ruin it slightly, but there's obviously more in there. He's basically. The whole thing is like. So yeah, I uh, when they brought me on, they wanted me to like do Thanos, and I was like, "Fuck yeah!" Because it was like my old, I would, my old uh, mentor, or whatever assistant, whatever. And he's like, and then so then I spent like three days in a fucking cosmic fueled rage, 
just writing the, the crazy story you just read. <laughs> and in my mind, I absolutely knew there was no way they'd ever let me publish it. <laughs> That's, but, that, but I wanted to show them what I could do and what they could expect from me and then tone it down however they wanted. So I sent it out. And I, you know, totally expecting it to like get rejected and they have to get rid of this. I mean, think of all the crazy shit I had. I had the Hulk as a dog, fucking Frank Castle as the ghost writer. There's no way they were going to let this shit through. And then my mentor calls me. He's like, yeah, we fucking love it. Let's do it. <laughs> That's cool. And That's then he awesome. like, I think he said he hooked up with his old like illustrator or somebody or maybe somebody else from God Country that he worked with on God Country and... Okay. Yeah, because he used to work with uh, Marvel actually before he was a trainee, though, at yeah. the time. And then after that, then he went to be an independent at yeah. another company. And then after that, he went to start doing his other books like God Country. And then I think God Country is the one that really yeah. brought his name out, though. That's definitely the one I know him from. <laughs> it's like, But uh, so he, that was his whole thing. He's like, I couldn't believe it. it was like, they let me do that shit. <laughs> And I was like, yes, that makes it even better. Because this is you like... One too, right? Oh, I'm, I'm getting out of the thing. Oh, man. You see my back? I will be in a bit. A bit. But, um... I disappeared. So... Besides that, what else have we had coming out? Did you see, read any of the new runs that came out this week? Like Exiles? I got, those are the ones I still got to read. They're on my top of my like little pile. I, I just checked it out because it has Little Wolverine. I wanted to see how that, that not is. in there is that, yet. Oh, not in there. It? It's fucking. I was disappointed by that. I, it was honestly not the most enticing first chapter, but it wasn't bad. Well, I do, it at least I do it, like, uh, it brought in like Blink, some, right? Is it yeah, it's Blink, but yeah. it's it's so they brought Blink back and they brought back that device she used. Well, she Blink was right now. She well, when I was reading she the last time I seen her, she was in Cable. Yeah, like, but that was a think a different like, time, time version. That's what I'm yeah. thinking. Yeah, this is probably because that place that before. version of Blink was like mentally fucking not there. She was fucked up. Yeah, I was trying to figure out where that one was. Where that yeah, one I have no from. idea that I love that one though. We have a fact on the page from that where she does the one to Gideon or whatever with the portal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that. that that one's like, portals are dangerous, man. Teleporters are dangerous. Yeah. They, people always forget that. Um, yeah, I read. I haven't read that one yet. I've been reading Sonic the Hedgehog, though. That one just... That oh, I just... That, uh, yeah, I They're doing that. a four-week uh, run for just this month. Oh, and just then, to get uh, them all going? And then, yeah, next I'll do uh, just regular one month. All right, and I have to say that about DC runs. Fucking Doomsday Clock, dude. I'm... S- it just takes so it? long, dude. Oh, it's God, it's like a month out. in between every fucking chapter yeah that's too long bro i don't want to wait a month to figure out if rorschach beats somebody up come on so yeah i mean i have not kept up with that series or it's only in like know. fucking four. Oh really yeah i feel, I feel like it has been going on it has it's that. been going on for like five months like let me see all right doomsday clock let's look i don't care how big it is it's not that great it's not that great that it can be released over 12 months and not get a panning for me same with dark knight's metal it was getting like good, consistent, like every week or every other week, and then it took like a month break. It was it was terrible. It, it ruined it for me. I I did had no interest by the end of the. Uh... That's why you know I don't really like to follow the comic schedules. The, you know what's weird about comic books? You know the fucked up part is Marvel's usually really on top of theirs. They are, but like you know what's weird though is like. I've never seen that in the industry where like they just missed the mark on so many things. Like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna release it this day. Oh, uh, no, but well, the movie oh. industry kind of does, but the, not like the comic I've industry does it so much. I've never seen the movie industry do that bad though. Like, where they even like now they're starting. Yeah, it to push... started in November, dude. It's coming yeah, until see, Ju- like, yes, like July two thousand nineteen. Like, like I said, I felt like it was going on way longer than that. Yeah, like until November, but then. No, like what I'm saying though is like even the movie industry, you know, that now they're pushing movies back. I've never, I've never seen that happen before. Like, yeah, they usually never do that. That's weird. I've seen it maybe once or twice because like an actor dies or some shit. Yeah, but... that makes sense. But then yeah, like I said, in the comic. But book the industry, other thing it's being weird. is like we're also getting the news of movies way before we used to. Yeah, we used to get like six months. Well, then that too, you know, I feel like two movies come out way quicker than they did way. Before oh yeah. Then way way. way. Like you like. Harry Potter, remember how long that took just to finish their whole scope. But then, oh, like, dude, towards yeah. the end... They were just popping them out. Pop, 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 pop. But yeah, but like, yeah <laughs> it's because they increased their production schedule and they knew they were making money, so they're just like, all right, well, we're just scale- setting these I mean, so we can just do them right after one another. Just even, like, you know, the Marvel movies. But I think like, they figured it out. They're like, all right, if we're doing more than one, we already know we just keep fucking filming. Because yeah. they're going to make money, they're going to sell. Once they figure out if they're good, then they release or whatever. 
But yeah, I agree. Like filming used to take years. You know mm. what I mean? And now it takes a year, if that. Yeah, they take unless just a something year like to this. Fit, like yeah, they're like. But it's the CGI. Movie. It's the access to new technologies and editing and sound and yeah. interact and more interactivity. I bet. I bet it's more about communication than anything. Being yeah. able to send this and receive this and like communicate and schedule. Dude, the scheduling must be hell for like that. Like, Venom just started filming in October. It'll Yeah, it'll be done. And it'll be done this year. For, mm -hmm. That's, like, crazy to me, you know? Like, well, to me, you know? But, like, the comic industry is just weird to me. Like, they push so many things back. Or well, like I think it's get... because it's also an art thing. And that's what I say, too. I always see, you know, well, maybe the artist didn't get to finish this. Right. Or, or know, the like, it one meant I gotta say is, wrong uh, or something. did you read the Vampire Hunter D series yet? They only had one issue. I think I They agree. started off on a Kickstarter and it was called Return to Mars or something like that. I can't remember. He goes no, to I Mars, didn't... literally. Oh, goodness. It, it's so cool because there's vampires on Mars. And oh, it was such a good premise, but then they uh, they didn't get to they didn't even get to start issue two Damn. because the artist, something happened with his family. I understand that, though, but still, you know, that oh, it just sucks. And they did say that they are going to finish it, though. Well, that's but good. I'll have to show you my book that I have with it. The issue is really good for it, and the art was oh, so good. So Dude, good. I bet it's awesome. Like, I, I, I know that the original Vampire Under D. Uh, it's stuff it's was based good. on one of the yeah you know, one of the stories. Yeah, they're just doing it in a comic book version, which is good. I've always wanted to read the the novels because that's novels where it's from. Good. I yeah. thought it was a manga, but it's actually uh, a it's, novel. It, it's a novel then a manga. Okay. It also has a manga. But it started from novel first. Then mm -hmm. it went to yeah. Manga. So, yeah, I'll have to read those. But Vampire Hunter D is a great one. Uh, oh, Rosario, what was that one? Uh, D Gray Man. I I've started that. Like maybe you've got in four episodes of that, and I have. No like idea I'm not sure. The anime I'm, isn't as good. I'm sure, but the manga is fucking astounding, Better. and they're never gonna finish it. It's one of those ones where they're not finished, and they they seem to put out a chapter a year. <laughs> if. Like here, let me see. I'll, I'll go look and see when the last well, release. I just don't understand was. like how you're gonna create something and then just do that to you. Like I could see if you die or something. Yeah, or it makes really sense. like all right. So who is it? Uh, the Hunter X Hunter creator is extremely unhealthy. Like constantly having physical health issues. So in that case, like yeah, it sucks. But even I've he, never watched that series. Even it, then, it, it, hire some animate or some fucking people to help and and. Pitch your idea. Put your idea down on paper or some shit, man. You've you've invested people in this just shit. Sit there and Ben just start talking. You're gonna write this. <laughs> I mean, and then you're gonna put this. D. I'm trying to figure out when I, the last. What is Hunter was. X? Any uh, Hunter by Hunter? Anyways, what? Uh, it's originally manga into anime. But, but what's it like? The whole the premise? Yeah, is uh, it just like, like... Uh, if I had to compare. Have you ever seen Toriko? <sighs> There's no. When I've seen the episodes, it feels like they just. It's got a really wide range, and it they takes... They, like, know, like, certain things, like, yeah, there's a lot of things they know about. Like, there was this one episode they had to do almost, like, a competition about food. Yep. And then the, it's and almost then like a hunt. contest, like, almost they're doing to me. That, that That's the thing, and that's, you go through arcs on that one, much like other ones. So, like, the first arc is, like, the tournament arc. And that's the problem. The anime never makes it past the tournament arc because they stretch it so long. But that there's the tournament arc where you have the tower, then, then you have... Or you have the test into the tournament arc and then you go into i believe it's either the spider arc or the uh spider. another arc. yeah there's just like there's a whole list of things like it's it's this huge universe thing like in the manga where you're like building up into the like world and then the world keeps getting bigger and crazier hmm. as you go but it's it, if like i said I, it's really hard to like compare it if anything and i say it's a cross between one piece and uh, and I heard One Piece was good until it got to like the hundred. The thing episodes. is, it's it's still well, it's anime, probably not. The manga even it, it is took different. a Yui basically from eh, the start. Of it first doesn't take to... a Yui. If I had to compare it, I'd compare it to Harry Potter. It starts off as a kids show, you know, and then as you go along, more and more adult <laughs> themes and ideas and like plot structure and stuff are added. At first, it's just Luffy out to be the pirate king because his old mentor was and yeah, then he see, picks like, up one friend and that's then, why I say kind of then he picks the up another years, friend was... and suddenly he has to deal with not just that now they have to deal with uh, that's where it starts getting good is the Don King arc it's like alright now you don't just you're not just oh, chasing Arlong or whatever now you also have to deal with betrayal alright well now betrayal is a big thing it's like alright Nami was with you for however many episodes and now she betrays you but then after that you do 
uh, was it unre un uh, requited kindness? Okay. Where he helps out a hungry man, and then the pirate fleet comes to like rob the ship, and then also uh, the as opposed to the other two characters, it has like the concepts of leaving home mm. and like leaving the people behind uh behind that need you as opposed to people that are actually that dad does have been first then you go to the betrayal arc so it's actually like a leave home then the betrayal and seeing the world is big but then there's the reuniting it's, it's a huge thing okay and yeah, as it knows, it's it gets more serious longest, uh, oh yeah it's also the right most now. popular anime in japan and that I, it has its own fucking theme park seen the show i've never seen this, like an actual full episode yeah like uh, the the later ones and it's still a very kid like show like even as it gets to like your older adult like themes and stuff you're still like louie's essentially just a big kid who's learns more and more shit he's just young at heart or in you know kind of mm -hmm. innocent but not you know he's fucking a pirate so <laughs> But for them, that's not like that means freedom. It's not you know, like stealing or this. Although I think they do steal some shit now and then. But they're more like you know, we do what we want. We sail the sea. Mm -hmm. We look for treasure. Okay, I'll have to check that one out then. It's that it's stuff. Like I said, honestly though, I know people who religiously watch it week to week, Japanese dubs because it doesn't get subbed anymore. Oh really? Or subbed, not dubbed, because it doesn't get dubbed anymore. Why does why did they stop not popular them? enough in America? Oh. Like it's super popular in Japan. Super popular. It's it's one of those ones where they have to release filler content while the manga keeps going, because it, they cannot release it fast enough. I you know I don't like when they do things like that too when they have to. Why can't you just let the manga go for at least a couple of years first? I honestly don't like it until they finish the manga. Or even that. Yeah. See, that's fine with me too. But they finish but the manga. that's not how you capitalize on like. The now you want to capitalize on the manga, then you release the anime at the same time. It just makes People, no sense right. to me though that way, because then, you, like I said, you end you know, up filler episodes that make. Like, they do all right though, and they they try to do other stuff. Like One Piece is really good about doing like crossovers. Like they had the One Piece Dragon Ball Z crossover. Oh, see, so I've never seen that one. Oh yeah, it's One Piece Dragon Ball Z and Toriko, which is the other one I compare it to, uh, the Hunter X Hunter, and Toriko is done in almost the exact same art style as both of those shows. Not Dragon Ball Z, but uh, as one Piece and like fairy tale, it has very similar art style, but its concepts kind of different. Open world, and they they theoretically could exist in the same kind of mm -hmm. open world Dragon Ball two in the kind of sense. Well, now that you're speaking of fairy tale, that's coming back up in fa the fall, which I really supposed enjoyed. to finish up the story is what you said. How far are they? Um. Well, how far did you get in? I don't. Did remember you finish that. it? The anime? No. I, I know almost never watched the anime. I finished the book. Oh, you didn't finish the anime, though, for it? No. Oh, the anime was so good. I liked it, but it, they, they had a lot of filler, too. They had a good but amount the of filler. But the fillers, though, were actually pretty good. They're no, like, this is one of the, it's one of those things where it's like, ble it's like some shows, like, the filler is just terrible. Like, yeah, most no, of the some. bleach fillers are awful. There's like two good arcs. The, the Bance arc and the Sword arc are the only good arcs. That's the ones I've heard that, yeah, are really terrible fillers. Inuyasha is all filler. This is like, it's just like. It's all filler. I've it, never watched Inuyasha. It's I mean, literally the whole story is filler. Like, there's very. Like, you could probably pick a dozen important episodes. And those, or maybe 20 out of that. That's all you need to watch, and you're done. Honestly, all the episodes are irrelevant. On every other episode is the same one. It's like Kagome, Inuyasha, fucking whatever, Shishomaru. I used to know. I used to know somebody I, loved Inuyasha, like literally loved. Oh, it. I still know people who really like. Like Beth, I think is a real big fan no, of Inuyasha. I was never a fan of that show. Either. I like Inuyasha I, you know actually, I liked, but I liked Ronin Kenshin. But Ronin Kenshin was way better. I, you know what? That's the only one I like that actually did a good live. I still haven't seen it actually. I gotta go watch Girl, it. Watch it because the fighting scenes in there are That's what I've heard. so great. I've heard it's really, really good actually. And so love, I gotta yeah, check the it out. fighting scenes are awesome. I heard they didn't like go overboard like no the, that's the thing they didn't need to go see that well if t and that was the thing like that's what i also felt like was like that one had the best opportunity to do an adaptation because it didn't have action. anything they that was ne crazy, there were wild yeah like you all you right like some of the comics like you got some stuff like oh fire or the brock brady but nothing that was like oh i'm gonna shoot my concentrated ball of fire at you no like it was more, yeah, the only thing is, like, they just did really good with, like, the acrobats and, or, you know, everything. Yeah, the, the, 
He, uh, them doing that, yeah, yeah, the choreography is very good on there. For That's sure. good because That's it's important. Like yeah, choreography, it. even regular movie movement is important. I feel like the guys who did the um, the Crouching Tiger were the ones that helped in this movie because it was just so good. Oh wow! Hey, you want, let's, I don't know if you, if you want, you can look up. They have the fighting scenes for it. Here, let's see. We'll, we'll check see. out one of the fighting scenes real quick before we. Uh, Oh, that's a good thing I'm going to work. Uh, man. But yeah, it's definitely been a little bit of a lighter week this week. We've had Legion out a couple weeks, but I want to... You said, yeah, catch up. Gotta I told catch you the up, first yeah. episode's very, like, even more, like, trippier yeah. than... The... Which is awesome for me, because that's 100% why I love the show, is not for its... Like, it also has very good writing and just, like, in general good shit, but yeah. I just, I felt very confused in terms until, like, halfway through the show. I still didn't know what was going on. Which is cool, because it's, like, for me, a show about mental illness really should do that. Yeah. Uh, Roni Kenshin. And then, um, live action. Fight scene. What else can I think of that was coming out? Oh, there? I don't need a, I don't want to do a 17 minute one. Let's start no, with they that. No, they have one that are just, like, fun, or, like, two, three minutes long. Versus Gein. I hope that's not the main fight scene, but it seems like a good one. You see it looks pretty good. There's the one that he fights the, like one of the samurai homies that's really good. I think that's how I put this one real quick. Oh, that's not it either. Is it that one with the blue guy? Yep. This is it. Oh, wait, I know this character. He's supposed to be Junshiro. Sojiro, that's it. Yeah, this is the same. In the book, he's like a 15-year-old kid, which it looks like they're doing a good job of like making him seem younger and smaller a little bit. Yeah, it's really good. He's the same color thing. They look real good. I mean... The, the sword fighting, though, is just so intense. It looked pretty good while they were going right there, but I gotta see some more. Should probably like it's like, Oh, he's doing the hop thing. Nice. Good stuff. Yeah, that's probably my the only anime that I think has done the best at doing the live at, uh, adaptation. Like I said, this one being the like I said, probably the best opportunity. They just they have it's the easiest. Like said, time. not so much going on. Right, no special cra crazy. Yeah, graphics it's just or fancy like says, a samurai story basically. <laughs> Yeah, it definitely looks pretty dope, though. Yeah, so you have to watch that movie. I definitely have wanted to check it out. It's just been on my back burner of things. Like, I haven't even... Oh, so I was supposed to go watch uh, the Infinity War premiere of Beth, but I have work. Oh, so you won't be able to go see that premiere today, huh? No. Well, I could go after work, actually, probably. Yeah, just go after work. Because I got a midnight showing, right? Yeah, but you better buy your tickets now, because them shit's... It's stuff. probably gone now for that midnight showing, I guarantee you, bro. That's why I was like, I'm screwed. Because she got like the 7 o'clock, and she didn't tell me either. I was like, fuck. You should have asked me for anything. Yeah, I have to see what time I, I, you, Yeah, I definitely wouldn't have said, never have said 7. No, yeah, yeah, so. Well. Not for that one. That was just not for me personally, because I know I have shit going on in the mm -hmm. night usually. Around there. So yeah, we'll have two weeks. Not even, actually, it's a little bit shorter than yeah, two weeks. Yeah, no, it's now. next weekend, right? Or not next, next week. It's, it's literally, what, just over 10 days away, 12 days? I want to say 11 days now. So. Because it's 27th, right? Yeah, 27th. Yeah, it's so about well, it'll be the 26th technically, too, for the What's preview. What's today? Uh, 15th. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. So we still have... Yeah, it's about 12 days. Yep. That'll be not this week, but the next week, Thursday. Yeah. So we have yeah. just just over a week yeah. and a couple of days. Well, unless you're saying a Thursday, then I guess you, week have, and a half. Then you have uh, 11 days then. Exactly. But I'm going Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I was trying to go. She has them for Thursday, that thing. And I was just like, shit. Yeah, I, I, bought can't. My, I bought my tickets on uh, Friday. See, I might have even preferred a Friday. But maybe not. I don't know. That's It's hard for me to tell because, like, in advance for however much time you might mm. you know, my shit happens, especially in the comic world. Things <sighs> change. Like crazy. <laughs> uh trying to see 
But I think we're starting to hit it's our end point there. It's uh, 49 minutes right there. So, you know, we've, we don't have too many questions or comments. I think we'll stop today. And, yeah. You know, we're on our way leading to Infinity War. We got one more pod cast before that, I believe. <laughs> and then... And hopefully, yeah, people will start getting the... Yep, and then the, we usually wait until the week after uh, the, the film comes out until... We, we'd never spoil, but until we even review it, we don't like to do it the show after because everyone's going to be seeing the show still. Okay. Well, that we'll works. see. It depends, too, if, like, which one, I guess, if we can all make it to those, depending. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, for now, you know, thank you guys, everybody who showed up, Tyler, Beth, anyone else who came through. Uh, it's I say a, a couple of you came through, but they just... Yeah, just came through, and that's fine. That's fine. You know, this, these Sundays, we're still setting as our I say, day. Yeah, hopefully that people will start seeing other schedules. The other, change. like, we're going to have to see what's up with those notifications and see if that's... Yeah, but if like... we can mess around with that, too, yeah, we'll have to see. All right, well, thank you, everybody, and uh, we will see you next time. one. Probably should have oh. out before I said that. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. Chewbacca will keep you company. <laughs> Tell him, Chewie. <laughs> Just with my mind, stuck on grind, getting dizzy. If you down a ride by my side, then you with me. I ain't gotta lie, I got pride in my city, justified.